How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note, if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and when you do, click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel. That way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at creating custom mobs and we're not going to be going too crazy here. We're just going to be spawning in a mob that has a custom name. Um, and that's really going to be about it. Um, I don't want to make this too complicated. You guys can explore this a little bit more, um, but later on I will be coming out with a advanced bucket tutorial series, uh, which I will go over sort of custom mobs and their NBT tags and all of like private fields and whatnot. Uh, but for now we're just going to keep it simple and we're just going to spawn in a mob that has a custom name. Super simple, right? Um, once again, all the code will be available to you guys on GitHub, so make sure to go check that out. Lastly, make sure to not skip around this video or you guys can miss some code. So we're over here on our commands class and if you guys don't have a commands class um, you can either just pause now and copy this or go to uh, video 11 and you guys can uh, figure it out yourself and create this class yourself. So first things first is we want to create, uh, we're going to do an entity skeleton, we'll call it skelly and it's going to equal a new entity skeleton. And now there's going to be an error here, right? Because what's happening is, well, I'll import it here so you can see, is this needs a world, right? And so we'll just call this world. And it's not a bucket world, so don't just go ahead and do location.get world um, because it's not going to work. We need the actual Minecraft server world. And what we'll do to get that is we'll go ahead and say world server world equals, and now this is where it kind of gets confusing here. So we need to have two sets. Of parentheses there right so what it's gonna go inside the second one here is we're gonna go ahead and say um, craft world and then we're gonna go ahead and import this well not import it and then we're gonna go ahead and say uh, player dot get world dot oh, so we got to import it first then we then we can do this dot get handle okay Nope, oh, imported the wrong thing there. There we go. So now once you have this, um, I'm actually going to just go ahead and do location lock equals player dot get location because I am going to need this in a, in a minute here. Okay, so now what we're doing is we have the skeleton ready to be modified, right? We can edit its attributes here. And now if you notice, when you first type in here, you're going to get all of these really really crazy things and this is how you guys can create um, custom behaviors pathfinder goals all that stuff a whole bunch of cool things we're not going to get into all that right now we're going to move on from that in a later version um, but we're just going to simply set custom name and we'll set this to chat color dot red and we'll say skeleton and then what we want to do is we want to say skelly dot set custom name visible to true and then now we need to spawn it into our world right so we need to go ahead and say skelly dot set location and now this is going to take this is going to take an x y z in a yawn pitch so that's why we need the location just so it was a little bit easier than typing up player dot get location dot get you know x and so on so we'll just go ahead and say dot get x lock dot get z and then we'll go ahead and say lock dot get yaw and then lock that get pitch all right and now you might think that you're done but you're not so inside our world server we need to actually register this mob right so we need to go ahead and say world dot add entity skelly and now if we head into our server here we can go ahead and reload if I, I already have one over there because I was I did a video before this, we'll just kill him, we don't want him. So if I go ahead and say slash mob, there is our custom skelly. And he's, I have to have it nighttime or also he'll die. Um, so let me just get some glowstone here so I can just light, light this place up, right? So we'll just go H2YO, glowstone, 10, wow, 9. And 
All right, where do you go? So we have our custom skeleton here, and that's really as simple as it is to to spawn your own custom entity. And now I can change this uh, to literally literally anything. So I could change this to a, uh, a llama, which I didn't even know was in Minecraft, to be honest with you. Um, I probably spelled llama super wrong. Yeah, that's right, double L. And then we'll change this to entity llama. Go ahead and import that. And we'll change this to, we'll just call him Steve. Steve the llama. And we'll reload. And if we do slash not that, slash mob, we can see that we have our llama Steve. And now um, you probably are wondering how I can go ahead. Oh, well, I can already ride him because he is a rideable mount or mob. Um, but if we just undo this quick and we'll go back to skeleton here, um, you're probably wondering how you can get, <clears throat> excuse me, to certain things like passenger set maximum house, all that stuff. Uh, a lot of that is deprecated, and deprecated basically just means that, like, it's no longer, like, I guess it's not really stable across versions, it's not really used anymore, um, but in order to do that, we gotta go ahead and say, I believe, uh, um, this might be wrong, craft skeleton, we'll call it S equals skelly, uh, and then you can see there, it needs to be craft skeleton and then we'll go ahead and do this thing again here where we do the double brackets or the double parentheses let's go ahead and say craft skeleton I could be totally wrong in this um, just taking a wing right now well no matter the point um, I will put some code down uh, after this oh after this video of how you can uh, get um, the other set of things so you can do other so you can change other attributes but that's all I got for you guys today in this video like I said super simple um, but you guys can start exploring here actually I will uh, go here and I'll show you guys uh, what you can actually do with this is I have actually made a custom polar bear here and I set the age so you can see here well okay and so entity creature um, which is extends the um, the polar bear there so if you just went ahead and did uh, entity creature there. All right, so if we look at this class here, you can see that um, this is a class I made here to spawn a custom polar bear. Um, pretty pretty simple to be honest here. And I can set the age here, I set his maximum health, I set what his current health would be set to, his custom name, his custom invisible. I had his own uh, custom uh, pathfinder, so he will melee attack other polar bears or other entity creature, well, polar bears. Um, and he will attack the nearest pig as well. I set his location. I set him to follow me. And I set his location twice. And then I went ahead and added him to the world. This is something completely different. Don't worry about that down there. Um, but once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. See ya.